Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and use ChatGPT in Google Docs documents. Alright, so if you want to add and use ChatGPT in Google Docs, it's really easy to do. So as you can see, I have used this ChatGPT prompt to write this blog post intro on how to make money with affiliate marketing. And this is just one application on how to use ChatGPT in Google Docs. So you can write stuff with it, but you can also use it to rewrite certain paragraphs or even complete documents so for instance if we have this blog post intro on how to make money with affiliate marketing we can use this uh, Google Docs add-on that I'm gonna show you how to use in this video tutorial to rewrite this blog post intro using ChatGPT so all we have to do is select change tone to here then enter the tone we want so let's say funny then click on submit here and what ChatGPT will do is rewrite this blog post intro to a funny tone using ChatGPT. And we don't even have to open up chat.openai.com. So as you can see, it has completed our prompt. So as you can see, hey there, lazy bones, are you tired of creating your own products and dealing with pesky customers? Well, have no fear because affiliate marketing is here. It's like getting paid to be a hype man. So as you can see, yeah, it has followed our instructions and it has used a funny tone to write this blog post intro. This is just one example. So you can use this ChatGPT writer in Google Docs as well. And how you can add and use ChatGPT in Google Docs. First, you have to connect ChatGPT to Google Docs using this Google Docs add-on or plugin or extension. And all you have to do is open up this Google Workspace Marketplace page. So this is a plugin or extension called GPT for Sheets and Docs. I will link in the description below and then you can also check it out as well. And as you can see, you can not only use this in Google Docs, but in Google Sheets as well. And there are a ton of applications how you can use it in Google Sheets as well. I have uh, other tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out. But uh, once you have opened up this page, just click on install here. I have already done that. So that's the reason I, I see uninstall here. And as you can see, more than 2 million people are using this currently in their Google Docs or Google Sheets. Uh, once you have installed it, uh, you're not going to see the sidebar right away. So first you have to click on extension and you will see GPT for sheets and docs. And then we have to set an open AI API secret key first. So click on select set API key. Then this will open up this uh, window. And here's where we have to add our OpenAI API key. This is a key that you can create for free. If you have just signed up for ChatGPT, you will get five USD credits for free. I have another tutorial where I show you how to get this OpenAI API key. So check those videos out if you don't know how to get your API key. Then copy the API key and paste the API key here and click on Save API key. Of course, your API key is never stored on their server, so don't worry about that. And once it's set, it won't be visible to anyone. So I have already done this, and as you can see, it's not visible. So you can close this out, and once you have added your ChatGPT API key, all you have to do is click on Extensions again, then select GPT for Sheets and Docs, and select Launch, and this will open up this sidebar here. And there are multiple ways how you can use this Chrome extension. So as you have already seen, we have used it successfully to rewrite uh, certain paragraphs, but you can also use it to translate text you have already written in your Google Docs document to another language. You can also use it to summarize a document or fix grammar and spelling on a document. And you can also use uh, custom prompts in this GPT for Sheets and Docs extension. You can also change when you want the text to be inserted. So you can insert that cursor or below the selection in the document. You can also insert an insert tag and the text will be added there. You can also change the behavior. So if you want to have a certain style of writing, you can set that here. So you can have an academic researcher, customer support agent, dating coach, financial advisor, an AHR consultant, a life coach and stuff like that. And you can also change the underlying model settings. So by default, as you can see, GPT 3.5 is used, which is the chat GPT model, but you can also change it for GPT 4 if you want to do that. All right, so let's see another example. Let me delete this completely or no, let's make another example. Let's translate this to, as you can see, I have selected translate here and we have to add the language we want. Let's add German, then click submit and chat GPT using this Chrome extension or not Chrome extension, Google Docs add-on will translate this Google Docs document from English to German using the power of ChatGPT. And we don't even have to open up chat.openai.com. We can do this completely in Google Docs using this Google Sheets add-on. So you might have to wait a couple of seconds. But now, as you can see, the complete selection has been translated to German. 
and as you can see a little bit of German and I can confirm that it has been successfully translated to German from English but as I mentioned you can also use custom prompts so just like you would do in uh, ChatGPT write me a blog post intro on how to make money with affiliate marketing then you would select use selection or document as context then click on submit and it would write us a blog post intro on how to make money with affiliate marketing so I hope you found this tutorial useful and all in all this is how to add and to use ChatGPT inside a Google Docs document without opening up chat.openai.com